Hello class, I wanted to offer a brief introduction to the works of Marjorie Kemp. Uh, you might notice I have a different setup here. My, uh, my laptop is in the shop. I'm recording this on an iPad. Uh, my MacBook currently cannot type the letter I, which I feel is an important letter. So, um, so I'm getting that fixed. But um, I wanted to offer a brief preview of the work of Marjorie Kemp. And uh, we're going to be talking about her this week. And her, the genre of her text is spiritual autobiography. Now, she was um, very much a controversial figure, but not a heretical figure. And I, I want to explain the difference there. So she was um, writing about how to live a, a holy and pious life. And she claimed that she gained this knowledge directly from Jesus and Mary. So that direct access to um, the teachings of, of God through Jesus and through Mary identifies her as, um, as somewhat controversial outside of the church teachings. Now, she was never really accused of heresy because what she preached was aligned with church doctrine very rigorously. So she wanted to live the embodiment of church teachings to the letter. Now, she was married. She had 14 children, and she you know, wanted to um, take a vow of chastity. At, you know, after at that point in her life, and and that was seen as as controversial as well. She wanted to journey to the Holy Land. She was a teacher of her religious experiences. Um, that was something that the Bishop of York tried to get her to stop doing. She um, she refused. So she was um, a very had a very big, forceful personality. Um, was not willing to alter. Um, or cast aside her religious convictions. Her model of theology um, is something called effective piety, which means that the, the subject suffers along with Christ. That, that is the entire emphasis of her work, is to, um, to really have this sympathetic vision of, of the crucifixion of the Christian story so that she is she feels that she is there she experiences it um, the emotions the the pain um, the enlightenment all of that so it's uh, so she's a mystic in that sense and um, like I said she's she's not heretical uh, she wasn't seen in that way because she's not preaching something that is outside of church doctrine but really an intense embodiment of it and um, that attempt to to access God directly outside of the immediate teachings of the church is something that that prefigures Protestantism in some ways but um, she was not exactly overly critical of the church she was just offering a um, a new kind of engagement with religion and uh, and spirituality so um, so that's what I you know I, I want you to read her works kind of with that in mind I will have a separate announcement for the course assignments, but I just wanted to offer that brief preview of Marjorie Kemp, and I look forward to your thoughts on her.